I'm so excited for today's video, you guys don't even know. I think I've been promising you guys um, a bathroom tour video for over a good eight months now. I know, I know, maybe even a year, I'm not even sure. So I do live in a pretty old house. Um, I do rent the space. So, I mean, I don't have the hottest bathroom of life, but I think it's the hottest um, I could make it look in a way. Do you know what I mean? So let's go ahead and get started. Some of you guys are gonna be like, oh, your bathroom looks terrible, but I'm pretty sure some of you guys are gonna be like, what? I love it. So let me know your thoughts and comments down below, good or the bad. I'm fine with both. It's not my house, so I'm fine. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to share with you guys everything. Let's go, let's go. Here we are entering Leora's bathroom. Here's just a little bit of an overview. All right, so the toilet is open at times, but then closed at others. Um, I guess this time it's open. I have my garbage can right over there with a Marshall's bag. It is full. It's just a real deal. I'm not going to change the bag for the video to keep it empty. You know what I mean? Um, then I have these really cute like rugs that I got from Target. It was a set of three pieces, so we get that. That piece right over there, and then the one that goes over the toilet bowl. Um, it was like 11 bucks. I'm like, yes. Here's where the sink's at. Um, you walk in like this. This is pretty much where I, you know, wash my face, take care of my skin, take care of this girl right over here. That's me. <laughs> Moving over to this right over here, I have my towel. I purchased that from Marshalls, I want to say. I put these two organizers here from the container store. So in here, I have these products that I like to use with my skincare. It's just like cooling on the skin. So I have like a jade roller and then these guys. And then on this side, I seriously just have just randomness. So some floss, which I barely use, earrings, makeup remover, necklaces you know a lip a scrub a little bit of everything currently i have the bath and body works white barn rose water and iv hand soap here i love this it smells so good obsessive and moving over to this side here is basically where i have my listerine my phillips brush which i adore i just change the brush head every like two three months and then my favorite toothpaste in the world is the crest the bd white toothpaste i've been using it for years that's pretty much how i keep my teeth white okay and then also in regards to what's in here i'm honestly not even gonna go in there because i don't really keep anything there i think i just keep um um one second <laughs> ew i don't want to look in here ew so i pretty much just keep draino in there which i i barely use anyway so yeah i don't really open these closets because i'm scared okay all right now moving on to what's in here so i pretty much just have um q-tips up there and then right over here i have more toothpaste different kinds of toothpaste my favorite one though is the crest one i have some pixie glow tonics a travel um, bottle here and then nail polish remover. Okay, then moving on to this side Ugh. So on top I just have some brushes that I like to use with my masks a tweezer and then some of these guys Which just help with my Invisalign cleanliness. I also have another one of the toothbrush brush heads um, that I could switch out um, when I'm done with the other one. Down here, I have some of these Shiseido facial cotton pads and some of these beauty blender brush cleaners. More floss down there and then a brush, I guess. Okay, and then moving on to this section, which is my pride and joy. I love how this looks. I love how it's set up. And it just makes everything so easily accessible. So firstly, these organizers are from the container store. I'll have them linked down below. So I have four of them, one, two, and then three, four. And each section is categorized with different products. So in this section here, I have my cleansers and makeup remover um, products. So I have like the Saturday Skin Cleanser. I have the Pharmacy Clean One, which is my second one already. I love that. Tony Moly, Dr. Brown, which I got in BoxyCharm. Clarins in the back there, fresh as well. And then Soap and Glory too. And then here's where I have like my makeup removing products. So I have the Urban Decay Makeup Meltdown, which kind of sucks. I'm not really that into it. Uh, the Fresh Oil, which is not bad. I have the Pharmacy Green Clean uh, Makeup Remover. Love that. The Eve Loam one. And then the Good Molecules one is pretty much the same thing. It's just a small deluxe size. I've been testing it out. I don't love it as much as the Pharmacy one, but it's, it's okay. Here's where I pretty much just have my masks. I really love the Purity one by Philosophy. The Milk Makeup one is amazing. The Dr. Brat one is okay. I also really like the um, Fresh Black Tea one. It's really, really nice on the skin. I also have a Erno Laszlo one. And then some from Pharmacy back there. Oh, and Pixie. You guys know I love Pixie. Okay, then moving down to this section here. Here's where I have my mist. So I have a nice amount from Iberdescu, Ula Henriksen. I also have my toner. So I have some from Pixi, Laneige, the glow tonic in the back there, which is almost done. I love that. And then I have my essences as well. 
from Fresh, you guys can see. And then I have the um, Amori Pacific toner as well, as well as my Clarisonic. I lost the um, charger for it, so I just use it like that. If you guys know where I could buy a charger, let me know because it's fine like this, but I'd rather it, you know, really work like it's supposed to. And then moving on to this section right here, here is pretty much where I have my lip masks, under eye masks, and then facial masks, and then these products as well. So I have like the First Aid Beauty Acne Clearing Pads. I have these Pixie Eye Gels, which I just started using, and they're so good. I don't know why I haven't used them sooner. And then I have the Max Complexion Correction Pads in the back by Peter Thomas Roth. That's great if you have um, acne prone skin. And then in this section here, I put another one of those organizers there. Here's where I have like my eye like gels, as well as lip masks. And then in this section is where I have my regular like face mask. So I have a decent amount from like um, Let's see from Bryce from brands. I have that one. There's a four foot one actually this butt one um, Saturday skin and then I have that pixie glow glycolic boost uh, mask as well. It's so good It's that's my second one and then some of these that I got in BoxyCharm. Okay, so let me just show you guys what's in this little compartment. So I do have a decent amount of eye gels from Patchology. They're actually really nice. They're like rubbery and very soothing. Um, this is from Milk. I haven't used it yet. More from Patchology. And I have some of these lip uh, patch allergy masks, which are actually pretty fun to use. Um, I use that quite a few times. Well, it's one use per pack, basically. I have some of these. I think this I got in Ipsy or something. These Wonder Beauty eye gels are really nice. I got them, I think, in BoxyCharm. And then we have those. That's pretty much it. Yeah. Cuties. Cuties. And that's pretty much it. I also have some tissues and some wipes. I, don't, I think those are pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> Okay, then moving over, this uh, shower curtain is actually from Marshalls. I think it's Tommy Hilfiger. I really like it. It's really nice. It's like navy blue with white stripes. Then moving on to this section right over here. Okay, so I have some Febreze, you know, in case someone uses the bathroom and it kind of smells, you need that. Or if I use the bathroom, you know what I mean? But if I'm home alone, I don't use that because it's, you know, I live myself. I also have the Amica um, Mist, which I just keep in the bathroom. I love how that smells. I got it from Marshalls. Um, here is where I also have my flip-flops because I do not take a shower without them. I just get grossed out. I don't know. I have the Palmer's Cocoa Butter Body Wash, the Olay one, which is almost done. The uh, Macadamia Hair Mask, which my hair doesn't love. It makes me so sad. So sometimes I'll use it for shaving. And then I have the L'Occitane um, Almond Oil. And then this looks like, what the hell is this? But it's supposed to help with cellulite. I got it from Sephora. So I don't know. I haven't really been using it, but I need to. I have cellulite. I'm also burning a Bath & Body Works candle in a vanilla birch. This smells like the hottest man alive. Also, if you guys can see a grout in the background, that's just my professional work. I just had enough. I couldn't take it anymore, so I just left it like that. And then also like that with the grout. Like from far, it looks hot, but then like if you really like zoom into it, it's like, okay, girl, get your shit together. But then I'm like, I don't care anymore. Okay, and then jumping into my shower here, I have this organizer that I got from Amazon. I really, really like it. I mean, I'm not going to lie. This one fell last time I took a shower and I was kind of pissed, but, you know, knock on wood. Um, it was fine since, so maybe just needed a little bit more of a grip to the wall. But basically, I have my loofah here and I have this back scrub. You guys probably saw that in my Target haul. In this section, I have my shaver. That's from Venus, I want to say. I have the Olay conditioner, the Cora's um, exfoliating cleanser, which I got from TJ Maxx. Yeah, some of the Cora's um, body washes. Really, really love those. I have the Fresh Body Wash, the... Um, Sol de Janeiro Body Wash, the First Aid Beauty Bump Eraser Body Scrub, which is great if you like to self-tan. This is a great exfoliator, so let's Sephora. Then I have the Olay Moisture Ribbons Plus uh, Body Wash. It's so yummy. It smells so good. And then moving up to this section here, I have my, I think it's called the Luge Shampoo and Conditioner. I got that from Amazon. It's not bad if you have keratin treated hair. I also have these two hair masks, the deep conditioning one that Angela got for me when we did the Mystery Ulta Box. So I used this one already once. I know that it has at least two uses. I didn't want to be wasteful and just use the whole thing once, right? So I use this. It's pretty good. And then I have my Briogeo shampoo and conditioner. And then I spoke to you guys about this conditioner. You guys can see I'm almost done with it. Love that so much. But we'll... All right. That's pretty much it. <laughs> and then one amazing thing about this bathroom is that there's a window, which I love using if I clean the bathroom and I just need some fresh air in here. Well, it's really nice. Sometimes I'll leave it open even if it's cold outside just because just to get some fresh air. Love it. It made the bathroom for me, let me tell you. But in the summer though, there's bugs everywhere. So I keep it closed usually. It depends. All right. So that's pretty much it. 
this was a lot of fun. It was a blast to film, I have to tell you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I feel like I made my bathroom sound worse than it really is, but it's like, not that bad, girl. Anyways, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. I'm looking forward to reading what you have to say, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Okay, and then I just have to show you guys the disaster. It's much later on in the night, and I'm kind of pissed. This thing fell again. I thought we were over this. I guess not. I am not even linking this thing down below in the description box because... You guys don't want to deal with this. It's really annoying. So the only one who stood the test of time was that one.